This question involves the trigonometric identities. So we know that cosecant equals to 1 over sine x minus with cotangent, which is basically cosine x over sine x. Now we divide the whole thing by 1 minus cosine x. So that would be 1 minus cosine x over sine x divided by 1 minus cosine x. And that would be 1 minus cosine x over sine x multiply with 1 over 1 minus cosine x. Now we can cross 1 minus cosine x, leaving us with 1 over sine x, which equals to cosecant x. Moving on to the next question, we know that this equals to cosecant x. So cosecant x equals to 2. Since cosecant is 1 over sine x, so 1 over sine x equals to 2. So sine x equals to 1 over 2. To find x, I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to shift sine. So I'm going to find the inverse of sine, 1 over 2. And that would give me 30 degree. And according to the quadrant, this is all, this is sine, tan, and cosine. So where sine is positive, you would do 180 minus theta. So x equals to 180 minus 30, and that would give me 150. So our x values are 30 degree and 150 degree.